Over the couple last years of using Home Assistant, I've been trying my best to build a dashboard that works for me and my wife. If you are new to Home Assistant, you will quickly realize that the overview or the default dashboard of Home Assistant is very clunky, hard and, and very complicated to use. So I took it upon myself to build a dashboard that is easy to use, clean and modern looking for me and my family. There are four criteria that I decided to stick to when I was creating this dashboard. And the first one was I wanted a dashboard that was easy and quick to use. So every action in each room was a single or a double tap away, making the UI faster and less clunkier in my opinion. I also wanted to have more control in each room. So let's say if I wanted to play a specific song in each room at two to three taps away, I wanted to be able to achieve that without having to switch to different pages. The third criteria on my list was to have a quick glance awareness of what was going on. So for example, a two second glance on my dashboard easily tells me which room has something on, which room has all light on, or which room needs some sort of attention. And lastly, for my dashboard, I wanted something that was very minimalistic, clean, and easy to use. Previous experiences building dashboard was I was building it way complicated and was making it hard for my wife to use. So even though I sit down hours and I know what I'm doing, it's just too many um, things for her to control at the same time. So I realized to bring it down a little bit and still make it clean and easy to use so that she can enjoy as well. A quick look at my dashboard. After taking a closer look, I can see there's nothing going in any room except this room. And even though there are certain lights that I cannot turn off yet with Home Assistant, most of my main lights can be. And so if I wanted to turn all the lights that I can off in a single press, I just go like that and all the lights are off. And then it just a single press again brings all the light back on to the states that they were before. So this is my dashboard as it would look like on the phone. And basically I, we will go through this from top to bottom. Um, the top ones are chip cards, basically mushroom chip cards. And the first one is telling me that my door is closed and it's locked. This is my main door. Um, and then the second one tells me how many lights I currently have on in my house. A cool thing is if I click on it and there is a light on, it will turn off all the lights. But if the lights are off, it will turn on every single light. Then it will make them white and bright. So I normally use it if I'm trying to find something or if um, I need something. Or another thing is, let's say if you forget what room has a light on and you don't want to really go here and find it, clicking on this will turn the lights off anyways. Secondly, I have a shopping cart for like your groceries and things like that. So this becomes a shared grocery between you and your family. Whoever, whoever has the Home Assistant app should be able to use this um, as well. So for example, um, if there was nothing on the list, it will be um, uh, black and basically nothing else showing. But let's say if I add rice and then I add um, beans and then if I go back up here, you can see now it says two lists are on the item. And the good thing is once I like another good, great thing about this is let's say if I go to Walmart or anything like that, I have an automation for both me and my wife or if there was any other family member, if they go to Walmart or any grocery store at all around me, it will pop up and tell you, hey, there's something on your list you want to check out. And then once you click on it, it will give you the list that you need so that you can shop and easily um, click it off as you shop. Kind of makes it easier, makes free shared grocery grocery um, list, I guess. And then the, this next one is for um, kiosk mode. Basically, if you wanted to hide all of these, um, this part, you need to have kiosk mode. I don't like to see that, so I just hide it with this. I only use it for troubleshooting purposes. And this is to show, this shows you all the camera, um, like the DMV cameras around my, uh, my town or wherever I live city. Basically this makes me see by myself, uh, the road conditions, um, and things like that. For most of my clients, I end up building this as a camera dashboard for them so that they can see all the cameras in and around their house in a, a single place, which is very efficient. Um, and then this is for my 3d printer. I currently have it turned off. Um, 
basically if it's turned on it will show you what is going on with the printer like their states and everything like that i'll give it a minute to turn on and i'll show you later and this basically tells you my wife is not home since her face is grayed out if she was home her face would be just like how i look right now and clicking on this will tell you her location by clicking on mine um sorry clicking on mine will show you like health data and things like that um that i'm working on it's not fully <laughs> ready yet but i'm working on to kind of automate health data and get you to work out and things like that um this gives you weather um weather forecast and current temperature humidity and things like that and this basically is uh i have a video of how i made this this is a response every five minutes i have an ai agent that goes through all the entities that i have given him permission to go through and then it will give me a review let's say there's lights on there's this there's room here it basically is supposed to give me whatever stands out so right now my server room is hot and so it's just kind of telling me the server room is very hot right now and let's say for example um and it tells me the office has motion and that's because i am in the office so it's kind of helpful and a useful use of ai um in your household and then here i have uh, a calendar if i click on it, it will show you all the things that i have and then i have um this uh vacation mode and guest mode if i needed to toggle it on and off and then this basically show tells you all the stats for most of my server and things like that and i can quickly turn off this also controls the office if i wanted to turn off the lights i can use this slider to kind of slide let's say to decrease and increase the brightness of the lights if you can see the one behind me keeps yep going with this as well um and this kind of lets me turn on my switch and then it will tell me the power draw for the switch and things like that so yeah that is very helpful clicking on it turns the right back off which is um, very efficient and then um this is for movies and things like that uh, for my home servers but if i wanted to vacuum clean this is like vacuum cleaning page i can turn i have two vacuums uh roborock and um, shark and i can turn all of these on with just a single um click or uh, double click on this and this would be green and telling me that it's cleaning which is helpful and then this is for my kitchen very uh sorry this is for my bathroom very useful um i can control the music playing in my bathroom um toggle on the scenes and things like that individually like turn on lights and things like that if i want to um do that and then coming down the list would be um this one right here it was just a, a weather i'm building a weather page for my wife she's is very enthusiastic about weather so that she can see all the information and the very detailed i plan to build a lot more things on top of that um but yeah and then we go down here now we have the room cards and the room cards basically if there's nothing going in in the room you can see that this is grayed out and the icon here is grayed out and that is to help me let's say if i see something on in that room and nobody's in there i'm like okay then i can safely turn it off so an example would be if i turn on the lights here you can see now the lights uh make sure this is also a light that's why i like it turned on but now you can see this turned on this and so if i turn this off since there are other lights on it does not go off until i turn the lights off and the same thing with the tv if there's motion detected if there's someone so a whole lot of things and then um to the bedroom is the same thing if there's something in the bedroom it will turn a different color if i wanted to deactivate motion trigger lights let's say i wanted to rest and i don't want the lights to go off when i'm in there i can just click on this which alerts me that okay the motion lights will not work now until I manually turn it off or until I've left the room for over 15 minutes and then it turns off by itself. And then the kitchen has the same thing. Quick toggles, let's say for lights, turns on. If I wanted to play music in the kitchen, I just have to turn on this. And then within a few seconds, a playlist that I already have will start playing. And then if I wanted to see what music is playing, give it a few seconds. Yep. Now I can control the music and things like that. Uh, and if I wanted to turn the music on and since the music is playing, you can see this is green. If I wanted to turn it off, the music is off. And if I open the page, give it a few seconds, you see this will close up. I can't hear the music anymore. So yeah, that is very helpful. And then this is for the office and the same thing. That's the same thing that controls my um, service and things like that. And then lastly, we can go up here to show you what it looks like um, i have a client that i built the same thing that's actually how i got this inspiration i built uh he has a tesla and i built a page for him to see all his 
Tesla information and I will put that on the screen next to this when I, I show this so I can get more ideas and so at a quick glance I can see I have filament in the printer how many jobs I have printed so far I can restart the printer bed temperature extruder temperature chamber temperature and if I wanted to turn on the printer have the printer turned off and see it's got one off so yeah this is a very um i'm still building this dashboard as much as i can but i, I think this is a great spot to share it with you guys if you are new to home assistant this probably sound very complicated to you if you need assistance you can book a one-on-one -on -one session with me so that we can discuss the needs that you want and if need be i can take control over your computer and help you with your home assistant dashboard it is also worth knowing that I have a Fiverr freelance page where I offer services to help with home assistant. So ranging from building dashboard to working with you on your automations, script scenes. All right. So let's say you wanted to install this or use this dashboard. I have here my GitHub uh, and then basically this is the dashboard. I'll have the link in the description. You can support the channel by leaving a comment, like it, subscribe if you found this helpful. And if you wanted to support financially, I have a buy me a coffee down here or you can subscribe to my channel, whatever way works for you. And then, so the key things to note about this dashboard is before you start, you go ahead and install all of these. And I made it easier. You can click on this and then uh, basically you can go down here and then install them and then you should be good to go. It will, you will need the hacks integration for that. Um, and that goes down the line to bubble cards and everything that you need. This is what the previous dashboard looks to look like. Um, I built, I changed it a little bit so you can see here, I even have bathrooms and the calendar down here and I have what the new one kind of looks like a little bit up here. Um, so yeah. And so if you wanted to, let's say install it in home assistant, we'll first go through your home assistant and then we we'll go to settings go to um, dashboards and then let's say we'll create a new dashboard from scratch and we'll call it YouTube and then we'll open the dashboard down here for most of my dashboard I use uh, masonry if that's what it's called yeah masonry and then I will save that for now and then we will go back to my github Let's say you are now done installing all of these and you wanted to um, install this dashboard. You can have, you have two choices. You can either download the whole dashboard, which is under the new dash.yaml. The dashboard.yaml is my old dash dashboard. So you have the choice to choose between the two of them. For the new one, you can click on this or you can build side by side. I highly suggest that you build side by side if you are new to Home Assistant so that you don't confuse yourself. The whole code is here for you, but you can go to room card, which basically what is doing that is doing is that is giving you just one of these cards, just one of this. So this living room one, one here. And so you go back there and then you can either download it with this button or you can just copy the whole file here. So you copy it and then we go to this dashboard, but taking a closer look at my dashboard here, you can see this is laying side by side so this way that is horizontal stack so we we'll go to the dashboard here we add a new card and then we'll call it you can see it's now recognizing because my entities are the same for you we wouldn't recognize it as nice because your entities are differently but there's nothing to worry about go ahead and search for horizontal stack and then you will search for yaml and then you can click on this and then you can paste this here. So I pasted it and it showed everything nicely. And that is mainly because the entities are the same for my home assistant. If it's not the same, you click on that button and let's say I wanted to change this to my bedroom, right? So I'll go ahead and change this to bedroom. And then I wanted to change this temperature sensor that was reading the temperature. You can go ahead and go to your, um, developer tools and then let's say find a temperature and then you can just copy it. This is for one, one of my Proxmox um, hosts. And then let's say, for example, you come here, you can select the whole thing. If you're on windows, it's going to be control F. If you're on Mac, it's going to be command F I'm on Mac. So I'll just hit command F 
and if you look down here it highlighted all, uh, the sensor and then I can just go ahead and replace it down here. The reason why I want you to do this is let's say if there were, the sensors were repeating in the card, you can just hit replace all and then it will replace all the cards. And the same thing with the living room light. You have to create a group entity for all the lights, all the switches in your living room. And then you can come here and give it the same, re replace this with that as well. So you just replace this and put your current one and replace it. And just go down the list till you're fully done. And once you are done, you can go ahead and go back. Now you can see it changed to bedroom and then you can go ahead and save it. If I wanted to duplicate this for my kitchen, I can just copy that and then paste it here. And then I can go ahead and do kitchen here. And then you can change the icon, whatever you, let's say I want it to be faucet. faucet. Now it changes to that. You can change the color. So this is the color if something is toggled on. Let's say I want it to be uh, pink. So let's say now if I toggle on the light, you can see this is pink, but this is blue. Even though it's the same thing, it turned on the same stuff. So going down the list, you should be able to change everything down here and you can do it for all the rest. But let's say if you're proficient, you know what you are doing, you can go back to the dashboard and then to get everything the same as mine, you can just go ahead and copy this whole thing. So this is the whole dashboard and you can see it has over probably 5,000, 7,000 lines. I've not really counted. Okay. It's just 3,000, which is pretty good. Uh, so you can go ahead and copy it and then you can go here back to your dashboard. You click on this and you click on the raw, uh, edit edit the raw file and then you can just paste it here. So this will give you everything that you need and you can work on it all in the same file. And let's see, once you're done and you save it, boom, I have my whole dashboard just like it was here and you should be able to toggle it and things like that. Thank you for watching this video. If you found anything helpful, please subscribe. I made a playlist for new beginners for YouTube, um, which basically walks you through from a beginner all the way to a professional in-home assistant. You can find that in the description as well. See you in another video.